Hi, I'm Dave Johnson. I'm the editor of eHouse Tech Channel. And today, let's unbox an iPhone 5. So what I've got here today is the brand new iPhone 5. Just came out very recently. And with almost all Apple packaging, it looks more like a piece of art than a product that you want to open up. Uh, I love this box. So the first thing you see when you open up the box is the iPhone. And in all likelihood, what you've got here is something that has already been activated by your carrier, Sprint, or AT&T. So I'll take that out. We'll put that aside for a moment. And we can pull out the little bed that the phone was sitting on. And we find some paperwork, warranty information, that sort of thing. But there's some fun stuff hiding down underneath. This looks really awesome. Uh, you've got redesigned earbuds. So you can pop those things out and use them to listen to music. And the charger. And last but not least, you've got the charging cable. And let me point out that, of course, this end is just standard USB. You, you've seen USB cables before a million times. But this end is the contentious new connector for the iPhone. It doesn't look like the old one. And in fact, if you have an older iPhone or older iDevice that has the old style wide cable, well, it's not going to fit in your new iPhone 5. But in exchange for that, you get something really cool. And that is, it's symmetric. Have you ever taken a USB cable, tried to insert it in the computer, didn't work, flipped it over, still didn't work, flipped it back the first way, ah, finally it goes in? Well, this thing works either way. So I can pop it in there, or I can flip it around, pop it in the other way, works either way. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our new iPhone. So it's going to take a moment to start up. Once the phone boots, you're on the welcome screen. So I'm just going to slide. And we just walk through some basic configuration. We say we speak English in this case. We're in the United States. So we can tap next a bunch of times. And uh, it's going to look for a Wi-Fi signal in addition to the 3G. And in this case, I'm in a location that has Wi-Fi. So I'm going to type in my Wi-Fi password. After a moment, it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Tap next. It'll take a moment to activate the phone. You're generally going to want to enable location services. What that's going to do is let the phone know where it is, so it can help you find restaurants and show you where you are on a map, that sort of thing. Now you have a choice of whether to set it up as a new phone, which you might want to do if you've never had an iPhone before. Or you can actually restore data from either the cloud, if you're using iCloud, or from iTunes. Say you had an older iPhone 4S. So I'm, I'm setting this up as a new phone, so I'm going to choose that one. Tap Next. Sign in with your Apple ID. That is what lets you buy stuff from the iTunes store. So that's important to include. After it signs in, you have just maybe one or two more things to do. Agree to the terms of service. You have a choice about whether you want to use iCloud or not use iCloud. If you use iCloud, it'll back up everything on the phone uh, online so you don't have to sync with iTunes. I'm going to not use I, iCloud for the time being. You can always go back and change that. It's going to ask you if you can e want to use Siri or not. I suggest using it. It's a lot of fun, especially when you first start using it. Let me demonstrate what that's, what that's like. Now we're actually in our phone. So if you press and hold the Home button, Siri pops up. And so I can say, uh, let me uh, restart it. Where's the nearest pizza restaurant? And it gave me a bunch of results. There are 15 pizza restaurants in the vicinity around me here in Santa Monica. That's pretty good, because I like pizza. So I could choose one. It would give me directions to it, that sort of thing. Uh, also, I just want to show that it's really easy to personalize this however you like. For example, you could, once you start downloading apps from uh, the iTunes store, you'll have pages and pages of these things. But you can take them and actually group them. If you tap an icon and hold it with your finger, you can then move it over another icon. And you've now grouped them. 
So now when I tap this, I have a name for it, like this is utilities, and I could have a whole bunch of icons hiding here. So basically, even if you have dozens or even hundreds of apps that you've downloaded from the store, you can fit them all on one or two screens. That's really cool. And also, don't forget that you're going to want to spend a lot of time, uh, initially at least, getting set up in settings. Settings is the place on your iPhone where you can configure everything about your phone, ringtones, uh, uh, whether you want it to not ring in the evening when you're home having dinner, that sort of thing, the background, wallpaper, all sorts of stuff. And the thing you probably most need to know before you get on an airplane, the very top item is airplane mode. Slide that over to on when you get on the plane. That turns off all the radios on your phone so you're in compliance with the FAA. And that is the brand new iPhone 5.